the store, the house, and the tunnel. All right, that's good. All right. Okay. This is cell phone guided in here. Okay. You call that number right there. They'll talk to you. Isn't that nice? Good. But you got to punch in these three digit numbers okay. and the pound button and it too. Oh, okay. That's good. And so the museum goes this way? Yeah, just follow the way around. Okay. All right. That'll be good. That's good. It won't take too long. Okay. Right. And can you film, take pictures, okay? All right. Thank you. Some places are pretty to be about Yeah, I know it. Yeah. Is this an early uh, coffee maker? Is it early? Or tea? Oh, it's a, tea it's a teapot. Yes. That's quite an exquisite teapot you got there. <laughs> I mean, really, I've never seen a teapot this ornate until now. It just shows you, you know, where has the time and quality gone, you know it? Oh, one of the few cannons, it has a uh, actual barrel cover on the front. <laughs> I honestly wonder if they still fire this thing. I doubt it, but... Judging by the fact it's not filled in, I bet they may. And there is the general, which I have seen in Atlanta. I've actually seen it. What? Over here. General Joseph Johnson and General John Bell Hood. <laughs> now this is something that's interested me for years. Ever since I saw the 1950s film about the Great Locomotive Chase, I've wanted to come here because I had seen the General, I've seen the Texas. That is a very old railroad rail. <laughs> I wonder if that's what, is that? Unless the railroad, you know, corroded down to that size, I'm going to be stunned if that's what it, if that was the actual size. <laughs> I am glad that they found these artifacts. <laughs> I have a T-rail like that from uh, Folkestone. Rail fan was kind enough to give me it. <laughs> Oh, and here's an old piece of strap rail. I've seen a piece similar to this in Newmarket, Virginia, where they had the, an actual piece that was in better shape. Well, I say better shape, it was actually straight. And in case y'all got, you guys don't know what this is, this would have been what they used to give train orders to the engineers. When the train passed the depot, the station master would hold this pole up, which would have the orders attached in the center. Engineer would reach out his hand as the train went by and grab the notes. And the station master would have pulled this back, tied up the next train order for the next train to come through. And here, I think, are the Andrews Raiders. And I think of the few that, you know, lived past the Civil War after it ended that received the Medal of Honor. I still find it amazing to hear that story, okay? I mean, I'm always amazed when I hear it. <laughs> I hate it, though. I just wish more people of my generation actually cared about this. A lot of the times, this war is forgotten about, mostly. Heck, I hardly learned anything about it in high school. As crazy as it sounds, it's true. Ticket punchers. These sort of live on, I guess you could say, in uh, <laughs> hole punchers now, handheld hole, hole punchers. I'm just amazed at this. Oh. Old telegraph. Uh, there's an old telegraph, and you have the insulators. Did you see the photographs over here? I'm still looking through the rest of the exhibit. Look, oh, okay. look over towards me. <laughs> oh, wow. I have a sign similar to this at home. Date nails, that would have been on, in the railroad town where the date was placed. Conductor's buttons, I have one. I know, and I'm glad. Ooh. They even have one of the whistles off one of the early.